This kills me, I'm sorry. Serious. I did it. Don't talk me into it. What? Blame him. See, I love roller coasters, but I never get a chance to go on them because I'm not supposed to. So I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> Rolling the dice. Rules. Taking a chance. Taking a walk on the wild side. Yeah. Very far. Let's let's get out into the real desert. All right. Oh yeah. What's the real desert to you? You too. Yeah. Amazon. These dinosaurs were made by Claude Bell. He was one of the guys that Walter Nod had helped him make Knott's Berry Farm. And Claude's dinosaurs are still here today. Thanks, you've probably seen this on Adam the Woo and, and uh, Justin Scard and all those guys, Random Land, that does all that stuff. You get to go see the dinosaurs with Luinator 5.9. Size of that thing. Dino World. How does the Jurassic Park song go? No, that's Back to the Future. Wait a minute, maybe they're all the same. Oh, there he goes. There go. That kid knew it. He got it. Oh, he's cut. Oh man, he's somebody tore into his neck. What's going on, little guy? How you doing? How you doing? No! Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Whoa! That's right. Keep you right into this thing. Yeah, he'd take and he'll, he'd grab you. Throw your body into the building or into the. So all the way back, giant. Like miles that way. Okay. Dinosaurs like cupcakes? Might, might, might be a thing. Just saying. Mm, dinosaurs and cupcakes. It's like flowers for women. Dinosaur and cupcakes. Mm. Some people don't know. That's why fire was invented was to make cupcakes. Oh! Dinosaurs and cupcakes. I don't want to say it too loud. This is kind of funny. The lady was looking at the T-Rex over here. And she was talking with that guy. And they were kind of debating on the authenticity of this T-Rex. 
<laughs> no one T-Rex is what <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I watch King Kong. I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of what it was. It was strange. <laughs> Oh, is that? Oh, we get to go up in the dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Wow, so long ways up here. I am in the mouth. <sighs> I'm just gonna hang out for a while. Catch up with you in a minute. <laughs> Boy, you get up inside that thing, and if he wants to let you go, he lets you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah. <laughs> what did I do? Oh. Well, yeah, I was talking to that T-Rex outside. Oh, is he getting clingy again? Yeah, he is. This is the egg room. He almost kissed you. Just, just let him know. Do they have to? Should they like it? Oh yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. Meter five nine and Dinosaurs watching Luminator 59 and Roadside Rick. That's amazing. <sighs> what a concept. Okay, buddy. Hey, I'm what are you doing back there? That's his egg. Hey. Had to stop right here. I started to go up in there, but then I realized the guy with two artificial hips couldn't do that. That lucky sucker got to get up in there. I got right, right up into there, but there was just no way for me to climb up. I'm so disappointed I wanted to go up there to the top pad. Maybe up this way. Whoa. Yep, this is the way. Two 
hips, <coughs> heart disease, pacemaker, refrigerator. I'm doing it. I'm almost to the top. I found this little canyon to come up into. Hey, I made it. How about that? These rocks have so much minerals in them that your foot, your tennis shoe really sticks on them. They cut the heck out of your hands though. Snake. <laughs> snake. Oh, rattlesnake. Bye bye. Damn, I've never seen a rattlesnake before, dude. Oh, he just saw us. Yeah. He's pissed. You know, I was wondering about snakes coming up here. You just wanted to get bit, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but where there's one snake, there's more. I'm checking the snakes. As long as they let us know they're here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rattles on that. What does that mean? Now he's got twelve rattles. Have you ever been bit by a snake? If you had, have, down in the comments box. Comment. Oh, by the way, let's talk about that comments box on these videos. Are you one of those people that come along and just watch videos and never comment to the, to the creator? Well, I encourage you to on every video that you watch. It helps the creator to make more videos with more vigor and more stamina and know that he's appreciated or she's appreciated, whichever you happen to be. Hey, if you're digging this view, go on to minds.com and I'm gonna leave a panorama on there for you. Download it, enjoy it. Later. Okay, now to see if I could get down these without falling on my fake hips or getting bit by a snake. Psst. Come on, snakes. If you're gonna make noise, make it now before I get there. Don't just lunch out and bite me. Ooh, look at the quartz vein running through here. You know, that's quartz right there. Of course, you know what runs along the quartz, right? Gold and snakes. Yay! I'm down. <sighs> Not bad. Only one little boo boo right there. Not bad. Look how the rocks just balance on each other. I saw a rock like this driving up here. It's just teetering right there. Ooh, that's a pretty flower. Look at that flower. Where's Mr. Roadside Rick? This whole desert is just blooming like crazy. We had all that rain. I have never seen something like this though. Look at this. That's crazy looking. Gorgeous, the colors in it. Wish I had my glasses, I could see it better. But huh, I'll look on the video. <laughs> yeah, see all the yellow and the purples? I saw red earlier. Isn't it gorgeous out here? Some beautiful cactus over here too. 
Ooh, look at the little white flowers. They're like everywhere. I'll tell you what, this super bloom this year, because of all that rain we have, have been having, just making things look gorgeous. Look at that cactus. Look at this cactus. And look at the blooms. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a delicate flower. Yeah, uh, if when we don't get our rain, which we've been in drought for, I think we had like a 12, 13 year drought that got really bad, but when you don't have rain, the desert, the seeds in the desert kind of just stay until you do have rain. And then you get a big rain and you get a super bloom. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Now your taste might be backyard gardens and nurseries, but the desert, oh my gosh. It's gorgeous, look at that. You know, it's very easy to forget that this is a desert with animals in it treat it like a backyard but it's not our backyard it's in fact this is a national park it's important you stay on the trails in national parks it's important that you don't <laughs> that was a bird sound like a sound like a snake whoa whoa look at the vein right there minerals I believe these were all molten at one time the reasons why they're cracked is because they, when they cool down they just crack wow this is a perfectly circular mountain that just pushed up out of the ground because all around the base of the mountain is a walkway so we went up on top, and now we're walking along the bottom. And it's everywhere you turn, there's just an amazing view. Yucca tree. Only at certain elevations in the desert do the yucca trees grow. And uh, boy, they could look real ratty over time. This one looks like it's quite a, quite a bit old, but it's putting out a new one. Wow, look at the blooms on that. They're going to be green. Green blooms. Too gorgeous, exactly what I wanted to do. I was looking for somewhere to go. See, Pat's taking off. He's going to be heading back out on the road. He stayed with us for a while. And uh, so this is like one of our last hurrahs. Look how all the rocks split in one direction. I wonder how fast they cooled off that caused them to split like that. And 
there's a Dave spot right here, Pat. I got one for you to climb. <laughs> climb up there. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boulder system. There's a lot of iron in that rock. Man, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. This is just too bitching. Hey, what's that channel you have? That's right, Traveling America. Yeah. Now we're in Joshua Tree. All the majestic splendor. Can you make it through there? I don't think. I don't know, can I go this way? Nope, can't go that way. All right, gotta go this way. Gotta go. I made it, I made it. Now I gotta do this. Pat, I never thought I was going to bring you out here to get stoned. Wow. Man, I'm so high. Look at that boulder right there. It's just like hanging on. This is crazy. Look at that one. Roadside Rick, gotta love him. Boy, he's been a blessing to our family. He's such a great guy. If you happen to run into Roadside Rick on the road, stop and talk to him. Great guy, just super fun. Go watch his channel, and he's traveling America. This looks like Jurassic Rock. Holy smoke, it just gets more beautiful the more you walk out here. It just keeps going and going. I've never seen rock like this. You know, you go to Knott's Berry Farm and places that do fake rock, I've, this has more got that consistency to it. It's kind of strange, like Calico Mountain. Claude Bell did a good job on Calico Mountain. I think that was Clyde Bell. I wonder what the desert is like at night here. That's a stupid question. It's dark. Look at the round rock up there. It almost looks like it's round and it's undercut. It's like it's sitting on a layer of something. That's craziness. I'll go right up there and hang out. What the hell is he doing? Is that a stripper pole? No climbing, dude. Stay off. Look at that boulder right there. It's getting ready to fall. And I wonder if these bolts, I guess these boulders fell off up there, huh? Now what causes a hole? Besides an animal. No snakes, no snakes, no snakes, no snakes. Maybe these were Jurassic turds from back in the Jurassic time. Maybe this is just <clears throat> like where the dinosaurs came in. Yeah, this was the landfill. Maybe so it came to one spot. Yeah, dino turds. 
This is dumb, dumb, dumb. This is dumb, dumb. Are you kicking the flower heads off? You're kicking blossoms all over the place. They yeah. only bloom once a year. What's what? I mean, my gosh. Ooh. Those things come in red and purple. Mm. Beautiful. There's the alien stone right there. See it? Oh, See the alien head and the eyes? Yeah, no kidding. And then I wonder if these rolled out here from coming off there. Or are these just worn away also? Great questions, no answers. Stay tuned. No, don't stay tuned. Geologists. Watch, watch Roadside Rick. Yeah, we got geology. What up? Little melon. Coconuts. Ow, 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 the thing, that yeah, bush these hurts. The, these are the desert stabbing trees, dude. What is that? <sighs> are you defacing national forest property now? There's buds on it. <laughs> there was, there was some kind of, ugh, look at it. I see those all over the place in the desert. There's no smell, but you know what that looks like? <laughs> Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I got some on my fingers, so I wiped it on the wall. <laughs> it's a red, white, and blue plant. You got your white blooms here, you got your blue, and your red. I think it's purple. That's blue. I don't know about that. That's uh, that a blue bell? Blueple. Blue it's blueple. Yeah, that's blueple. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, okay. I still think it looked like a flag, red, white, and blue. Man, I'm hungry. For a moment, Rick thought we lost the car. I, uh, we're good at it. Well, we've done that a lot, you know. <laughs> we came around that, that corner there and looked at this park line. Went, oh, oh, where's the car? And you couldn't see the road going down this way. Nothing says Joshua Tree like the Joshua Tree Bar and Grill. Yeah! Great food. I'm so hungry. Dude, I'm hungry! Oh, this is nice. burger I've ever had. Done a lot of ratings. Got a friend, Jack on the go. Um, he did a lot of burgers. We did some burgers together. We thought we had the best burger. But I'm telling you right now, Joshua Tree Saloon. Oh my. Hot tip for you. Way too cool. 
Now this is right on uh, the 29 Palm, Palms Air Base. So there's a lot of Marines that come in here. 29 Palms uh, Marine Base is the largest Marine Base in the United States. And this place is fantastic. 